a few videos ago we learned about uh, destructuring which is like uh, pulling apart a complex uh, variable to make new ones basically uh, we uh, we looked at this uh, this RBG kind of example so we said we had something like this uh, we had a simple tuple we called it RBG and then uh, and then to pull it apart um, you do this, you do the opposite. So you, uh, instead of let RBG equals something something, you do let something something equals RBG. And then this will make, uh, you know, these three variables for us. And it can be, you know, you can type anything you want. So the green color, uh, these are just names that we're deciding for the variables. And then uh, now that we have these variables, we can, uh, let's print blue, for example. And you can see it prints out 60. And the other thing you can do is uh, change the, uh, or only take in a few, a few of them. Let's say we don't care about blue. We only care about red and green. Well, you still need uh, you know three items here because this is a tuple of three items. And you're just saying, uh, I don't care about this and I care about the other two. So only they get names. And uh, put in a second thing of curly brackets and there you go so that makes you know 50 and 200 so that is what we already know and now we're going to uh, look at how to destructure a struct and uh, the way we'll do that is we'll make a person and uh, a person struct and we're going to give it um, let's see we're going to give it a name and names will be strings, uh, a real name, which will also be a string. Uh, height for people will be uh, U8, which will be centimeters, because that's what we use here in Korea. Um, and, you know, pretty much the whole world. Uh, happy will be uh, a Boolean. So sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're not. And so that is our person. So we're now going to make uh, make one, and we'll call him Papa Doc. And so he needs a name, so Papa Doc, and it needs to be a string. So we use the two string method. Uh, real name. Um, his real name is Clarence, and we will also make this into a string. Uh, height is uh, I don't know his uh, wonder if his height is in here. Anthony Mackey. Nope, I don't know his height. So he gets to be 170 centimeters and then happy. In the movie, he's not happy. So he gets a false. So that is Papa Doc. And let's, uh, let's also uh, give him debug. Derive debug. And then we can uh, print him out and make sure that uh, Papa Doc is looking good. And there it is. Name, Papa Doc, real name, Clarence, height 170, happy, false. So now we want to uh, destructure Papa Doc. And you remember it's, uh, so you do this in reverse. So let person, and this will be Papa Doc. And then here we have, uh, you know, name, real name, height, and happy. So name, real name, height, happy. And we have successfully destructured Papa Doc. And so you can uh, let's print out uh, whether he's happy or not. And there you go, you have false. And you can also, uh, you can add your own names. You can, you know, maybe you don't want to say name, real name, height, happy. Then you just go name A, let's call it B. We put a colon and you just give it your own name. Let's call it happiness. Happiness, actually happiness, because I like that movie. So let's print uh, A, B, C, happiness. And let's, uh, let's print that out. 
So we got Papa Doc clearance uh, 170 and false. So that is how you uh, destructure a struct. And one uh, one other thing is you know maybe maybe you don't want to uh, to use everything here. What's the way to do that? There's a there's a simple way to do that in Rust. You know instead of uh, underscores here in a struct, you just use uh, these two dots. And the two dots means uh, I don't care about uh, every about uh, anything else. So that will give us uh, a destructured Papa Doc that uh, with uh, you know name will now be called A and real name will now be called B. And uh, let's uh, let's print that out. So uh, his uh, his friends call him something. But his real name is something, and then we'll go A and B, and let's see if that works. And there you go. So his friends call him Papa Doc, but his real name is Clarence, and that is how you uh, that is how you do it.